There are many reasons why I'm putting this YouTube channel together. Of course, it's to protect myself. It's also to tell people about what's going on. It's hard to describe it. I don't want to send out one video here, one video there. What I want to do is have a one place show everything that's going on. All I need is one person to do the right thing. Is there one person in an area of authority who can call the right people and get something done here? You think I'm the first person this is happening to? But I'll be the last person they do this to. And look what's going on here. I think I was in the car, I was picking up food, and you get Northwell Health cards coming around the corner. It's happened before. Always surprising though. This is down Marcus Avenue. This is how I get out of North Shore Towers to go down to Lakeville. This is what I see. Obviously aggressive. Reason for this. ShopRite parking lot, New High Park. I look, there's a little squirrely Stratus security car there. I'm parked. Northwell Healthcare security again. Coming around. Where the fuck is he going? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Having cops within riding around Northwell Healthcare's parking lot is just obscene. Absolutely obscene. And then I have a lot of this stuff going on. What is going on here? Not they're going to tell me. It's not intimidation. It is harassment. It's not intimidation. It's not as if they're trying to me from preventing from doing anything. I don't think. Pursuing justice, I guess, and trying to protect my life. I guess that's something they're trying to intimidate me not to do. Another instance. Pulling away. And... This is not security. This is just one of their employees, or maybe a security guy in their, one of their cars. Why are they there? It's always curious where they are in relation to where I park. I've explained this before. Little shopping center. And whenever I, I go in to grab some pizza, this is what I have. This is the same visit, a couple of minutes apart, and it's security, or it's EMS. Here again, look what's happening here. Car comes in, parks, backs up, I don't know what he does. They know I'm filming, and they know I'm not in the car. Northwell Health Car, care, car, excuse me, crosses me. But it happens a lot, and I don't record it all. And I'm not driving around that much. So the frequency is too much for it just to be coincidence. So, if you looked out to the right, you saw that uh, Northwell Health Care security car just left the parking lot. It's late. And I'm walking to the car with groceries. And you can see me. I'm about to leave and I'm going to go and take the exit. That makes sense. It's been what, a couple minutes or so. So that car should be long gone. Okay. You could do right on red in Nassau County, and it should be long gone. Except, as I come around, you'll see the car is still there. Why is he there? He's waiting for me. Okay, now what? That's where I'm baffled. People are pissed at me, so it's sadistic. That's what this is, revenge. I understand it. Is it effective? No. 
So there he is. Stopped. I honked him. A couple times, more than a couple times. He turned and he stops. Like, what is he going to do? What is he going to do? He And he flashed the lights. It's like, fuck him. Look at this. March was a very busy month for these guys. Very busy. This was after I spoke to the DA's office trying to get that ADA in trouble for allowing my father to be murdered. So they all work together here. So the car does pass. They have a right to do it. But it's all in March. It's all in March. Look at this. Wait, so I pull out. And I have to tell you something, this guy is either stupid or has a lot of guts. Because if you don't think I thought about run, running over him, it wouldn't be human. March. See the car on the right? Making a U-turn? I'm on Jericho Turnpike. What is he doing? And I'm far away. I'm in New York City. This car was... So aggressive. This was a new aggressive move. Almost took me off the road. He wasn't going to. We were going to slam into each other. And then things would have gotten interesting. Believe me. Because I'm fighting for myself. He's fighting for what? He doesn't even know. And he would have had a big problem. And he ran away like a child. My only issue here is that I'm filming, it's obvious, and he doesn't do anything, he doesn't even look. And now we'll go back to the small shopping center where I grab pizza. I know first car passes, the medical car. I can't make any conclusion there, but I do look over the street, which would be Lakeville, and I see a security car coming. Happens very often. So I'm waiting there. I don't know what he expects me to do. His window's down because he's a real tough guy, you see. I said something about harassment. I got to change it up a little bit. So I pulled out and um, I didn't know where he was at this time. Look, it's aggravating. It's aggravating because I'm not moving forward in terms of this conflict. I think this channel will certainly change things up a little bit. Hopefully we'll keep some people up at night. Although sociopaths sleep very well. So, I see him. I must have seen him when I pulled out. But as it turned out, I'm waiting at the light. And this individual should have realized that I'm filming. Or maybe that would have taken too many brain cells. Because soon enough, he decides enough time has lapsed and he's going to back up. So he didn't leave the car. Came around, passed me, made his presence known, pulled into Dunkin' Donuts, and now he's pulling out. I don't know what an average person, or they say the common person, would conclude, but that, that was just a way of aggravating me. It certainly does. I'm gonna say obscene for the Nassau County Police to be roaming around Northwell Health parking lot. I mean, particularly because they're always roaming around me, and that makes for a big difference.